Hi, in this tutorial, I would like to cover a very common question is how to delete the Shopify store after the trial period is over. And short answer is you cannot do it yourself. You have to contact Shopify support because generally when uh, your trial period is over and you try to log into Shopify, you'll be prompted with a window similar to this one, where essentially you have to pick up some sort of plan, maybe a basic plan, a regular plan or advanced plan to continue using Shopify. But uh, there are some circumstances where you maybe you tried Shopify and you want to discontinue and you also want all the information that you added into your trial store to be totally deleted from Shopify. In that case, contacting Shopify support is the only option. And um, to contact support, you just have to go to Shopify Help Center. And um, uh, to make it easier, I will just simply leave this link, direct link uh, to this contact page in the video description in case it doesn't work and re it will redirect you to the home page of Shopify. Just make sure to open this link in the incognito mode of your browser, like Mozilla, Chrome, and Opera, and whatever browser you use. And um, there's also one more important aspect I would like to mention. And if you discontinue using the store and you delete it, and uh, eventually you want to come back to Shopify and open the store with the same subdomain, like you see here, in my case, subdomain is for test only one dot myshopify.com. And uh, if you want to use this, the original subdomain you used before, you will not be able to. So essentially you would have to pick a different subdomain. And uh, in my case, as an example, if I were to delete this current store with four test only one, it's my development store. And I would come back to Shopify and try to reopen again. Uh, sorry, to re-register again with the same subdomain for test only one, I won't be able to do so. I would have to pick something else, maybe for test only two, three, four, something else. So that's because uh, Shopify, they simply reserve subdomains. Uh, so I hope uh, this video was useful. And if you want to learn more about Shopify, please ensure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.